Hey, this is Rick Casalge from ExercisesForInjuries.com. Now, I'm responding to a question from a Fixing Elbow Pain version 2 customer. And what the question was, was how do I know when to progress my rehab exercises? So if you look at Fixing Elbow Pain version 2, how the rehab part that I ended up designing ends up working is it ends up being in three stages stage one stage two and stage three how I've roughly broken them down is you know each stage ends up being one month or about four weeks so everyone would end up starting at stage one and you know during those four weeks, you would end up staying within stage one. Now with some of the exercises, you might end up finding them being too easy. And how you would know that they would end up being too easy is you'd end up starting to feel no benefit from them. They feel too easy. Um, you're, you're, it doesn't feel like the muscle's working. You don't feel like you're strengthening up the muscle. You don't feel like you're loosening up the muscle with the self-massage. You don't feel like you're stretching the muscle. Then what you end up doing is you end up going through the rehab manual. And within the rehab manual, I give you ideas on how to progress the exercise, how to stay, take steps to make that exercise more challenging. So you end up maintaining a rehab effect and that rehab effect will help you overcome your elbow pain. The next step after you've gone through those progressions is to go to the next stage. And you might find with some of the exercises, you might end up, you know, with when it comes to your time frame, you might end up being in that stage one. But some of the exercises are too easy, so you might end up moving on to stage two for that one exercise. So there you go. That ends up being how you know to progress when it comes to the exercises. So everyone starts in stage one and you know stage one ends up kind of being the foundation. Within those stage one exercises you have progressions you can do and when you stop feeling any benefit you end up moving to the stage two exercise. When you stop feeling any benefit you end up moving to the stage three exercise and if one of the stages ends up being too challenging you just end up moving back and remember do the exercises in you know the each of the components that I end up talking about because the components each component ends up building on the other one and what I end up calling it is it ends up being a compounding pain-free effect so you might end up you know, picking exercises here and there and doing them randomly, but you're going to get a lot more benefit if you end up doing each of the component in the order that I end up talking about and stacking and building up pain-free results. So there you go. Thank you very much for the question. And if you, you know, if you end up having any other questions for myself, you can end up sending them to support at exercisesforinjuries.com. Now, you know, if you're, if you're you know, kind of wrapping up the video, you know, make sure to head on over to exercisesforinjuries.com. At exercisesforinjuries.com, I talk about all kinds of exercises and pain and injury. So you can put your injury or pain in the search box. Good chance that I end up having an article or a video on your injury or pain. The second thing is if you're watching this on YouTube, head up above, hit subscribe. What that'll end up meaning is you'll end up getting videos like this every couple days where I end up talking about injuries and pain. Number three, let me know what you think of this video. You can do that by heading down below and hitting like and leaving me a comment on you know, how you liked the video or if you end up having a question that you want me to answer. I, I mean, that's about it. Now, if you're look, lastly, if you're looking for a program to help you overcome your elbow point pain, visit the program that myself and Jed Johnson put together called 
Fixing Elbow Pain. And you can check that out at fixingelbowpain.com. So that's it. This is Rick Caselge from exercisesforinjuries.com and fixingelbowpain.com saying take care and bye-bye.